for companies here in India, Africa is far from being a dark continent. It's a continent of opportunity for companies in industries such as energy, automotives, FMCG. Godrej now, just like competitor Mariko, has already made acquisitions in Africa. But now it's looking at more. Sagar Malvia has this exclusive. Adi Godrej wants to go to Africa with a shopping bag once again. Clearly two South African acquisitions, Kinky and Rapidol, in the last three years is not enough for him. NDTV learns, now they have begun due diligence on Nigerian-based company Tura International, which sells personal care products in West Africa and Europe. Tura is a subsidiary of UK-based Lornomid Group, which is owned by NRI Mike Jatania and has global brands like Yardley of London. The company has a dominant position in Nigeria's soaps and skincare market. It has an annual turnover of around $50 million. That's exactly the amount Godrej wants to spend on this buyout, says sources, though Godrej declined to comment on specific buyout targets. We continue to be very interested in M&A. Uh, we continue to look for opportunities in India and across the world. We have put in place uh, full-time resources that uh, investigate opportunities in M&A and uh, uh, we continue to work hard on that side. And through M&A opportunities like these, Godrej wants its international business to contribute half of its total sales in the next few years from just a quarter now. And analysts feel it could help Godrej not only to consolidate its position in Africa but also expand its margins going forward. Though international operations on a profitability front as of now are not uh, that uh, big contributors, but uh, we see uh, the company can uh, grow the scale of these businesses and uh, um, I mean, and ensure that uh, uh, good profitability comes from these operations. That's why Godrej is looking at Tura, not for the Nigerian market, but for its reach in over 50 countries, so that in future Godrej can launch their own brands using Tura's distribution system. But there's an issue here. Tura has been talking to many FMCG players in India. So the race now is chill wide open. In Mumbai, Sagar Malviya, NDTV Profit.